in the Syrian Sins that with you trying to regroup here after our blooper. <laughs> You'll see later in our special video at the end of the semester. It uh, says, find the coefficient of the term a to the sixth, b to the fifth, in the expression 2a minus 5b all to the 11th power. Now, remember, they're asking me to find the coefficient, which is the number that goes in front of this term. Now, we normally use uh, uh, for the simpler problems, or the ones that are not so, uh, so big of uh, exponents, we could use Pascal's triangle. Now, there's nothing wrong with using Pascal's triangle for this. However, if you start deriving Pascal's triangle, you realize that it gets really big really fast. So, for uh, problems like this, for example, instead of the, using Pascal's, we're just going to simply uh, use the calculator, as Mr. McCaffrey already showed you in the previous example how to do it. So we'll use that. So now let's 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 set it up. Um, which numbers do we need to use? So I'm going to set them up over here. Remember that we need n choose r. It's going to give me my coefficient. Now. And you all know it's the exponent of our binomial. Well, in this case, my binomial has an exponent of 11, so I know that n must be 11. Now, the part where we have to do a little bit of thinking is, how do we get r? Hmm. Well, r, remember, is which term in your row, right? Which term is uh, this number right here, right? So let's figure it out. Now, think about it. Uh, the a right here has the power of 6. Now, remember that when you list the numbers in your row by using the pattern of, um, or using the binomial theorem, basically you start with, for example, is you start with a to the 11, right? Then the next term is what? You go in descending order, right? a to the 10th, a to the 9th, a to the 8th, a to the 7th, a to the 6th, right? You guys remember that, correct? So now, remember that when we count these, what number do we start with? Do we start, do we say, oh, this is a O, oh, do we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, it's 6? No, we don't do that, right? We start with the number 0. We say that our first term is always 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Therefore, this is not my 6th term, this is actually my 5th term in the row, because remember, we start with 0 when we start counting them. So this is actually 11 choose 5. Because, yeah, it is the sixth term, but remember, since we start counting from zero, it's actually n choose five, okay? So, let's plug this in the calculator. So, remember, you got to plug in the 11 first. So, you go 11, and then you go to math, probability, or PRB, scroll over, go down to where you say, where you see NCR, which is n choose r, click that, and then put your number, your r, which is five, push enter, and it actually gives you 462. Well, that means, that means that this number, or one of, one of the pieces of your coefficient, your coefficient is going to be 462. However, we are not done yet, because, because, if you look over here, you will notice that your a term, or your a, your, your variable a, has a 2 in front of it. Your b has a 5 in front of it. Therefore, uh, you have to take this into consideration when you're finding your coefficient. So yeah, this is the coefficient you would have got from Pascal's triangle, but you still have to take these into account. So if we go over here, notice that your 8 term was actually raised to the 6th power. So that means that this ended up with a power of 6. Well, if this ended up with a power of 6, that means the 2 must have also ended with a power of, that's right, 6, right? So I'm going to grab my calculator see what that is. 2 to the 6th power. Well, let's see. 2 to the 6th power is actually 64. Mm. So this 2 to the 6th ended up being 64. Notice that, um, okay, so this is 64. Now, we go over here. This is a minus 5. And if you look over here, your B ended up with a power of 5. If the B ended up with a power of 5, that means that, notice that the 5 is right next to it. They're being multiplied. That means the 5 had to end up with a power of 5. So this is... Not actually a 5, but we're going to use the negative 5, right? Negative 5 to the power of 5 also. So negative 5 to the power of 5 gives you negative 3,125. Hmm. Ugly number. Hmm. Not so much. So let's go ahead and put all this together. So in reality, what this whole thing means is this. My coefficient 
from like if we were to use Pascal's triangle, but remember we said it's kind of big, so we don't want to use it. We'll use the calculator. Is 462, right? Now, this number ended up a to the 6, but remember, it also had this 2. You have to take that into account and raise it to the 6th power also, and it gave us 64. So what it really is is that times 64 a to the 6, right? Now, I'm just writing this so you can see that it matches this. It's just asking us for the coefficient, but just so you can see where the 64 came from. Times a negative 3,125. And that was b to the fifth, right? So if we multiply all this out, that's going to give us our final coefficient or the final answer that we're looking for. We already knew this. This was a to the sixth, b to the fifth, but we just wanted this big number, right, with all of them combined. So here we go. 462 times 64 times a negative 3,125. And that gives us, ooh, a lot. This is going to be negative 924, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, so that gives us negative 92,400,000. That is the coefficient. So uh, as you can see, as Mr. McCaffrey likes to say, it's a little bit hairy, but uh, there it is.